Welcome, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming. We have great turnout today. Uh, thank you to everyone who submitted lightning talks as well. Um, uh, and thank you for joining us for the bias effects and notable generative AI limitations or Bengal super seedling proposers day. Uh, I'm going to do a brief presentation uh, for some housekeeping matters, and then uh, we'll talk uh, about IARPA and then the program and how to do business with IARPA. So uh, again, thank you for your interest in the super seedling and for your participation. Um, we have a lot of people joining remotely, so the audio will be disabled on the WebEx if you're joining remotely. Uh, comments can be uh, submitted to the IARPA team in a variety of ways. So you can submit via the note cards if you're here in person, uh, you're provided with some note cards at the uh, front desk. Uh, if you haven't received one of those, you can run and get one. Uh, you can also submit to the alias, which is up here on the screen, DNI Bengal Proposers Day, IARPA.com, uh, iarpa.gov, and you can uh, submit to the WebEx. But if you do submit to the WebEx, please send it to the panelists. Don't send it to the host, because then the host will have to transfer it over. So please submit all chat questions to the panelists. Um, the presentation today is divided, uh, is provided solely for the information and planning purposes of offers. Proposers Day doesn't constitute a formal solicitation for proposals or proposal abstracts. Nothing said at the proposer's day changes the requirements set forth in the BAA. So the BAA will be the definitive document once it's released. The BAA language supersedes anything presented or said by IARPA today at the proposer's day. This meeting is being recorded and it will be posted for public viewing. And for those viewing the recording, email aliases and points of contacts may be dated so please refer back to IARPA.gov for the most up-to-date information about points of contact and reference to documents. The goals today are to familiarize the participants of the event with IARPA's interests in the Bengal Super Seedling Program and to solicit questions and feedback. So this is your opportunity to shape the course of events with this program. We still haven't finalized the BAA, even though we've released a technical draft. Um, so please do ask questions. Um, those are incredibly valuable to us and hopefully our responses to you are uh, valuable as well. Uh, we hope to um, foster discussion of complementary capabilities among potential performer participants. And uh, one of the major goals of this is for everyone to see capabilities of other organizations and come up with creative teaming structures um, to address the problems that we'll be discussing uh, in the technical description of the program. Teaming information can be found at the following address. Uh, we'll be posting the presentations from uh, the lightning talks for review, an attendance list with contact details from participants who opted to share their information will also be distributed. So you can reach out to people that you've met at this event. The chat feature is also enabled for participants to plan future discussions associated with teaming and teaming interests, capability summaries, and lightning talk slides will be publicly posted to the Bengal IARPA webpage until the BAA submission period closes. Um, questions uh, can be submitted to the email alias or the web chat or via the, uh, the small note cards until 10.55 a.m. Uh, please make sure that they're in by then because uh, I anticipate we'll have a lot. We will go down and review those and try to give you as many answers as we can today, at least for the technical questions that are asked. There'll be a break after the contracting presentation at 1040 a.m. Um, and responses to selected questions will be broadcast at 1 p.m. Eastern. So please don't log out or close your WebEx connection. Just stay logged in um, over the break. All programmatic and contractual questions will be captured, but we're not going to answer them in this session. Those will be answered uh, later on in a, a public fashion. So we'll release a, a Q&A with answers. Right? So uh, again, we encourage participants to find partners and collaborators, someone who might have a, a piece missing from a project that you have in mind. Um, the lightning talks are a forum to share um, uh, capabilities and, and evaluate other people's capabilities. 
uh, collaborating and capability summaries will be accepted with minimal review for appropriateness and made available to the public. So um, those again will be up on the website. Okay, this is the agenda for today. So uh, that was the welcome logistics and proposers day goals. I'm Tim McKinnon. I'm going to be the program manager um, for Bengal. Uh, next, we'll have Rob Raymer, who's the director of the Office of Analysis Research at IARPA. He's going to give an overview of what IARPA is for those of you who haven't done business with us yet. Following that, we'll have an overview of the technical uh, focus of the program, the topic areas. I'll be uh, presenting that. Uh, following that, Kevin Mann, contracting officer at IARPA, will be presenting the contracting overview. And then uh, we'll have a break. And then uh, following that, we'll have lightning talk sessions, another break, answers to the technical questions you submitted before uh, 1050, and then uh, a second round of lightning talks. We've got a lot of lightning talks. Uh, we've sent out this schedule. Uh, it's here. Uh, I'll, I'll move through it a little bit slowly so you can all see where you are if you haven't already oriented yourself, but we've also distributed this via email. So. Okay, but this will be available later as well if you need it. All right, so without further ado, I'd like to introduce the Director of the Office of Analysis at IARPA, Robert Raymer, who's going to give an overview of IARPA. All right, good morning and welcome. I'm Rob Raymer, the Director of our Office of Analysis. Uh, Bengal will reside in our portfolio. Um, this may be the largest crowd ever for an IARPA Proposers Day. I think the uh, for those of you that came to the reason Proposers Day. So we have a lot of people attending virtually. Um, we had over 400 for reason back in January, I believe. And I think at least based on registration so far, we'll well exceed that. So thanks. Uh, definitely a, a significant interest in this topic as, as, as we are as well. Um, so IARPA is part of the Office of the Director of National Intelligence. Uh, we are uh, this sort of the central point of the IC focused on integration and uh, uh, collaborations across the IC. And in particular for IARPA's mission, we're looking at uh, uh, transferring innovations across the IC. So our mission is high risk, high payoff uh, that delivers innovative technology to the intelligence community to um, provide overwhelming intelligence advantage. Our programs are complex and multidisciplinary and we seek uh, technical excellence and technical truth. So we want to bring the best minds to bear. So we have you here for that. If you want to, we have a problem that Tim's going to present. I just want to point out that the draft technical description was posted Friday afternoon. Hopefully you have all seen it and had a chance to take a look at it. Tim's going to go into those, uh, into the topics in a little more detail, provide some context around them. Um, but we want you here because we want the best and brightest to help solve our problems for the intelligence community and help uh, provide uh, and then submit innovative proposals for the Nagal uh, program. Uh, we also hire world-class term limited program managers uh, along with those, those best minds to bear. And uh, Tim's done a great job working with the intelligence community, uh, FFRDCs, National Labs, UARCs to, to, to uh, define a, a good set of topics that we need to focus on for the intelligence community. Um, so IRPA, we define and execute research programs that have clear goals. We have metrics for our, our typical, our traditional large programs that last five years, three to five years. Uh, this will be different. Uh, Bengal is considered a targeted super seedling. Uh, Tim will talk about that a little more, but uh, this will be a two-year effort, and we we ask you to bring your own uh, metrics to measure progress. Uh, <clears throat> we'll have a white paper phase, and if you do not have quantitative metrics, in, in most cases, if applicable, um, you probably will not pass the white paper phase. So I just wanted to, to, to point that out to you. Um, Typically for our large programs, we do not have white paper phase. We just go right to the proposal phase. Um, so everything that's set up here is, is related to our large programs, but we do develop these programs with our IC partners, help develop the requirements and goals to then transition. Uh, we don't have an operational mission here. We, we don't shelve, uh, we don't operationalize programs. We, we don't want to shelve them. We want to make sure our partners have something that they can transition and use for the IC's mission, their specific mission. Um, again, we have clear measurable mile, milestones. Uh, we don't institutionalized programs, as I mentioned, and we also do not go after low-hanging fruit. Um, we're looking at really tough problems. Again, IARPA hard, um, and uh, hopefully in two years we'll have have something to, to transition or at least develop a, a larger three- to five-year program. Uh, this is just a snapshot. We transition in part or whole 75% 
of our programs. Uh, sometimes if our programs are not successful at the end, meeting our final milestones, there are some components that, that we can transition to fit a, a mission need. Uh, we have well over 3,000 uh, journal articles published. Um, some, several of you uh, have, have won um, prestigious awards um, and been recognized, and also our program managers participate in IC governments and uh, academic uh, boards and, and, and organizations to, uh, in their specific domains. So with that, how do you engage with us? Um, we had an RFI uh, related to Bengal, I believe, or mid-summer. Uh, many of you had responded to that. Uh, we did have a workshop, a government-only workshop in September, so, so now we are here. Um, again, this is a different than a typical program. This is a little bit different. This is a super seedling. Um, this will be a two-year effort. And before anybody asks about the overall program budget, we will not provide that, but each proposal it will have a limit of $4 million over the two years. So we're not going to answer those anymore because we usually get 10 to 20 questions around that um, <laughs> throughout the day. So with that, I will turn it over to Tim. Um, I just want to say that a lot has evolved. When the Reason program came out, we had lots of questions about chat GPT, large language models. Uh, for those of you that participated and looked at the Q&A, um, last November was, was sort of a game changer, but, but we're here now and we're looking to um, have you help us solve this problem. So thank you.